In this episode, we're presenting the winner of our last battle against the Doberman, the Belgian Malinois, the guarding champion. This time against a more challenging opponent, the Cane Corso, an Italian Mastiff breed. More dominant, bigger in size, scarier in appearance, but will that make them win this battle? Only one way to find out, the Belgian Malinois versus the Cane Corso. Let the battle begin! First round, appearance. At nearly 28 inches at the shoulder, weighing more than 100 pounds with a large head, alert expression, and muscles rippling beneath their short, stiff coat, Corsis are, at a glance, intimidating creatures with a more subtle look. Belgian Malinois are squarely built, standing 26 inches tall with a weight of 66 pounds. Okay, I'm talking numbers just to make it sound fairer to the Mal. But this point goes to the Cane Corso for obvious reasons. This pick will show you. Fair? Yeah, one point for the king. Intelligence. Compared to other Mastiffs, King Corsos are the more intelligent breed and very eager to please their owner. Though their stubbornness might sometimes be a problem when it comes to training, King Corsos are impressive. True. Now about the Mal. Those who know a Belgian Malinois know that they absorb everything around them. They can only observe a behavior and they will take it. They're that intelligent, which can also be challenging since they'll learn things you didn't even plan for them to learn. Belgian Malinois are one of the most intelligent dogs of all breeds. And that's not just taking commands, they think with their own head. You just can't outsmart them out. Fair and square, the intelligence point goes to our genius Belgian Malinois. General Health Cane Corsos are healthier than Belgians, which often have health issues that you should check with your vet regularly. Though the lifespan of the Mal is longer, they can live up to 14 years. The Cane Corsos, only 11 years. They're generally healthier throughout their life. They rarely have any health problems, which is why for this round, point goes to the Cane Corso. Action. Cane Corsos are affectionate and gentle. This breed creates a deep bond with their family, especially with the owner, and is a committed protector. But when it comes to kids, though gentle, it's never safe to leave a kid alone with a Corso, especially if not trained. The Belgian Malinois sure has the loving part and would be a cuddly one if they were ever able to calm down and sit. Gentle with kids and other pets, this point goes to the Belgian Malinois. Guarding. The name Cane Corso literally translates as bodyguard dog. Kind of spoiled the result here. Anyways, continuing. This breed is highly territorial, dominating, and protective, which are excellent watchdog traits. This breed was bred to be a guarding dog compared to the Belgian Malinois, who's a herding breed, though both make great guarding dogs. With an advantage in size, temperament, and breed, it's only fair that the best guard dog between these two is the Cane Corso. One point to the Cane. Living. Surprisingly for a big guy, Cane Corso can live happily in an apartment. When indoors, they're calm, relaxed, and quiet. They also bark none to minimal compared to the Belgian who gets pretty vocal, especially if bored. But Cane Corsos are not very tolerant of other pets. They want to be the boss of the house, while the Belgian is quite the friendly one and they adapt well to any lifestyle changes, while Cane Corsos, not so much. So pros and cons to each of them. This round, one point to each. Trainability. Though much more trainable than other Mastiff breeds, Cane Corsos have an independent mind of their own and are not pushovers to raise and train. With their vast difference in intelligence too, this round too leans more on the Belgian Malinois side. They're one of the best dogs to be trained. Though both challenging and training due to their dominant attitude, the trainability point goes to the Belgian Malinois. Energy level. A busy Cane Corso is a happy Cane Corso. Despite their appearance, Cane Corsos are not the lazy ones. They are a working dog, so he won't be happy to just lie around the entire day without anything to do. The size of the Cane Corso does not keep them from being highly energetic and active dogs. 
However, they do not need extensive exercise like other high energy dogs like Belgian Malinois. I can't think of any breed that can pass these guys' energy level. They are unstoppable. I love this about them. Happy-go-lucky attitude. We all need some of that. Miles win this one, of course. Tolerates being alone. This category might as well be called who's the bigger baby, because that's what both of these are when left alone. Cane Corsos even show a stalking behavior. They'll chase you around the house in every activity. They belong to the Molossus family of dogs who have learned to spend time and work beside their owners and consider them for their leaders. Similarly, mouths are prone to separation anxiety, and if left alone for too long, they start getting aggressive and chew things around the house. Well, since there's no way we can take points away in this battle, I guess one point to each for being a big, clingy baby. Weather tolerant. The King Corso is certainly a breed that enjoys spending most of their time outdoors, provided the climate is relatively mild. They can tolerate cold and hot to a degree. They don't like to be on the extreme end of either spectrum. They have short muzzles, making it harder to stay cool. Belgian Malinois do equally okay in both cold and hot weather. They have enough hair to keep them warm, but not so much as to make them overheat easily. And that's the final round. To decide the winner, this last point goes to the Belgian Malinois. And now, with a final score of seven to five, for the second time in a row, the winner of this battle is the Belgian Malinois. Is there a dog the Mal can't beat? Not until now. So, do you think the fight was fair? Who should we put him up against in our next battle? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, here's two others you might also like. See you next time. Yeah.